cataractcoach.com. Quiz, what type of cataract is this? It looks like a very strange cataract. Look carefully. So there's a parse playing a port already in. What is all that? That's a crazy looking cataract. Or is it? This patient may have had ocular trauma, may have had a retinal detachment, vitreous hemorrhage. And this is a very rare, rare finding. This is ocular cholesterolosis. Look at that, all washed out. Look at all that cholesterol. Now, this is a rare, rare condition. I've never seen this in person. Its incidence is extremely rare. So here's the viscoelastic going inside the eye. You may want to just make a main incision and wash all that stuff out. Looks like there's also a, either cataract, maybe a pupillary membrane there. This is a, a sick eye. Not sure exactly what's going on here, but wow, look at all that cholesterol. Now, you can read about this online. There's certainly some good resources there. If you Google the term ocular cholesterolosis, it's especially rare in the anterior segment, the anterior chamber. Again, I've never seen one of these in my 30 years of being an ophthalmologist, or almost 30 years. And so here we go, going inside again, trying to aspirate it out, perhaps. I just make the main incision, then you can aspirate it out a lot easier with, like, the phaco probe. But look at all of that. Wow. Interesting case here. You want to learn about a great interesting case, I tell you, today, today, Saturday, April 6, 2024, at the ASRS in Boston. If you are in Boston this meeting, stop watching the video. Go to the course instead. It's at 8 a.m., bright and early. We're going to have an incredibly good time and some great learning material. So, okay, here's the main incision now. Now if you can bring that big blob out. Look at that. Whoa. Deliver that thing out of the eye. Yeah, probably like an eye probe in here just to wash all this stuff out. And again, now the question is, does the patient have this in the posterior chamber as well? Is this in the vitreous cavity? Posterior chamber? Vitreous cavity? Who knows? Let's find out. A little bit of tripan blue dye. So it's obvious in the anterior segment, I, there may be posterior segment as well. Not sure why the patient is having a... The, the port that maybe the patient needs to have a part of the plan of a truck, maybe B-scan showed that the patient had uh, some vitreous cavity abnormalities such as detachment or vitreous hemorrhage, etc., so you're poking in that lens capsule, and it looks a little bit of fibrotic tube. Okay, getting a beautiful rexus done. Nice, generous rexus. I like that. Get that rexus big. Beautiful. And let's see what happens when you take the cataract out. So what an interesting case here. Something I like to see these videos because I've never seen this in person ever. And so now going in with the phaco probe here in the right hand, and let's see what's going on. Groove down the middle. Maybe some sort of second instrument coming up. And there's a nice looking groove. Very good. Yeah, there is a second instrument cracking in half, so maybe like a stop and chop. Get those pieces up. Did I tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website? I know I gotta say this because there's so many young doctors I meet, and I say, hey, do you subscribe to my daily cataract coach email? And I look and they don't do it. And I'm like, well, why? How can you how can you ask for my help if you don't subscribe to my email? Come on. So now taking the cataract pieces out here, nice and easy. There you go. Get those pieces up, a little bit more chopping if you need to. But what a different and unusual case here. Would love to know more about the history of this patient. And was there trauma? Is there vitreous hemorrhage? Is there retinal attachment? Is that why we're doing this? Is there this cholesterol deposit in the vitreous cavity as well, throughout the vitreous? Let's find out. Is this unilateral? I actually looked it up online. About 80% of the time, this is unilateral. This is associated with trauma, but not necessarily. And a very interesting pathophysiology, which I will leave you to read about. But here, taking the rest of the cataract out. Now, the question is, would you put a lens inside? What are you going to do here? Well, I guess it all depends on what's going on in that vitreous cavity and how, what's the visual potential of this eye. And if the vitreous cavity, the retina looks reasonable, yeah, I'd put a lens in too, but let's see what the surgeons are going to do here. So there's the, oh, suture, okay. So just suturing it up, no lens needed in this case. Maybe there are other issues. Maybe you can come back for a secondary IOL if needed. Or maybe the surgeon wants to do the vitrectomy here through uh, an aphakic eye. Sometimes that's ad advisable as well. So we'll see. But sealing this up here, and you know what? Are we taking out the infusion? Nope, time for the part plane of vitrectomy. Okay, so yeah, obviously there's some, there's some vitreous stuff going on here. We will soon find out, so... Time for the retina surgery, which, of course, this is not retinacoach.com.
So we'll leave that for another day. But thank you for watching. Remember, if you are in Boston at the ACRS, please, you need to go to our Cataract Coach course. You're going to learn so much and you're going to have a fantastic time. It is right now, 8 a.m. Boston time, Saturday, April 6th. That's right now. That's today. Thank you, guys. Bye.